Hi everyone, this is Dr. Diana Song Song and today we will study the mathematics of patterns. So for our first topic, we will discuss isometries. Enjoy watching! Patterns are everywhere. So patterns can be seen in numbers, in, in geometric figures, and so on. So let's first take a look at some examples of patterns. Okay, let's think about this. Um, we have 1 times 1 is 1, 11 times 11 is 121, and so on. So meaning to say, every time you're squaring a number, you're squaring a number by, and then you're also increasing the number of digits by 1 each step. What would be the answer here in 111,111, the square of that? So based on the patterns that we have, it will be... As you can see, what's happening here? 1, 2, and then go 1, 2, 1. 1, 2, 3, and then 2, 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, and then go down, right? So what would be the answer here? It would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then go down. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay? What else? What about this one? 1, 3, 7, 15, and 31. So I'm sure that you are very familiar with these kinds of patterns when you took your entrance exam. So what happened here? You added 2, you added 4, add 8, add 16. So what will be the next pattern? These are just powers of 2, right? 2 squared. Uh, 2, 2 squared, 2 cubed, 2 to the 4, so we add 32. So what's the answer? The answer is 63. Okay, so also when you took your college entrance exam, the, um, college entrance exams, you also had uh, abstract reasoning or logic patterns. What will be the next figure here? So what's the pattern? The pattern is that you have uh, it's alternating correct it's alternating it's between inside and outside right and it's rotating around your circle in 90 degrees so therefore it will be here but it will now be a um, diamond right next we have these figures over here so what are this these are just numbers one two three and then just put them together like in a mirror reflection so what would be the next figure here we have four right although this one must be um shaded in blue, just like the other figures anyway we can also find patterns in nature as we have already discussed in our previous uh lessons the patterns are everywhere so let's now stop um patterns um, by looking at isometry. So before we discuss isometries, we will now discuss transformation first. A transformation is a process which shifts points of the plane to possibly new locations on the plane. So we will look at this for examples of transformation. So the first kind of transformation is a translation. So what happens? You're just sliding the figure sideways, diagonally, whatever. As long as the point is it has a direction so for example this figure over here you slide it so you have this figure so meaning to say you translated it a reflection of course um you're just getting a mirror image so you you do this right when you have graphical analysis you have translation horizontal translation vertical translation you also have reflection correct the next one is a rotation. A rotation has a point about which the rotation is made in an angle that says how far to rotate. So for example, um, let's look at this figure over here, right? So what happened here? You rotated it where? Here, right? You rotate it by 120 degrees um, clockwise, correct? So this one, after 120 degrees, you go here. After another 120 degrees, you go here. And then after that, you go back here. How did I know that it is 120 degrees? Because to make a complete revolution, right, you had 
you have three um, congruent figures, right? So meaning to say 360, you divided it by 3. A dilation. A dilation is a process wherein you change the size of an object. So basically, it's just the same object except that the size is now different. It's either you make it bigger or smaller. Smaller. Now, what are isometries? Isometries are special kinds of transformation wherein the dimensions of the object and its image are unchanged. So, based on the definition that we have over here, which among the four, um, the four transformations that we discussed is not an isometry. Remember, the dimensions must not be changed. So from that, we now know that dilation is not an isometry because remember, it changes the size of your object. But the three, um, but the three, the three transformations that we discussed earlier, translation, rotation, and reflection, are all examples of isometries. Okay, this is the mathematical definition of an isometry. It is a mapping that preserves distance and, of course, therefore, the shape. Um, what is this one saying? The distance, if you have two points, if you have two points x and y, their distance in the original figure is the same as the distance in the um, in the second figure, like in their image. Okay, x and y, these are the original points, and then f of x and f of y, they are the images. Okay, we have combination of isometries. All right. So, for example, in this case, what happened with this triangle? With this triangle, we reflected it correct we reflected it along this line l and then what did we do we translated it along this direction vector v so this is this kind of isometry is what we call a glide reflection meaning to say it is a reflection followed by a translation or vice versa meaning to say it doesn't really matter where you start you will end up with the same um, figure, okay? Now, this is Charles Lee's theorem. This one is saying that every motion of the plane is one of this transformation. It's either a translation, rotation, reflection, or glide reflection. What does that mean? I have here your multiplication table for isometries. What does this multiplication table mean? It means that if you have a reflection followed by a reflection, another reflection, the answer is a translation or a rotation. If we look at reflection followed by a translation, correct? See, you have here the answer is a glide reflection. So meaning to say, if you do, let's say, translation, and then translation, and then rotation, and then light reflection, the point is, you will just end up with the four um, isometries that we have. Reflection, translation, rotation. You will just end up with either one of these four. Okay, so as you can see, all the entries in, inside the table are just one of these four. Okay? What is symmetry? A figure has symmetry if there is a non-trivial transformation that maps the figure onto itself. So, for example, this are this figure, these figures over here. They have a symmetry um, reflection along the vertical, this vertical line, correct? And then this one, rotation, correct? it will be mapped to itself if you rotate it by, what's that, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, meaning to say 360, 360 divided by 6. So, 60 degrees, correct? Okay. Next. 
let's look at symmetries of a square. So these are the different symmetries of a square. Meaning to say, the square, you will, when you do, for example, your rotation of 90 degrees, although these are just points, right? But basically, so after 90 degree rotation, um, rotation clockwise, okay? A will go to this point, right? But the point is, it's still the square. Okay? You have rotations, you have reflections. So all of this, when you do all of these transformations, you will still get the square. Okay? The signs and patterns. A design is a figure with at least one non-trivial symmetry. And a pattern is a design that has, this one is important, it always so of course, a pattern is an example of a design, but it is a special kind of design because it will always involve a translation symmetry. So this is an example of a design because it has a symmetry. What is the symmetry here? You get the same image back to itself when you rotate it by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right? So meaning to say you're rotating it by 360 divided by 5 degrees. Understand? Okay, although this is an example of a design, this is not a pattern because it has no translation symmetry. Whereas this one over here is a pattern because you get back the same figure if you translate it. Of course, we assume that this pattern over here, it will continue. Alright? Okay. These are the types of symmetries that we will discuss in this bit, in this lesson. We have rosette, freeze patterns, and wallpaper patterns. Thank you for watching my video. For more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And don't forget also to hit the bell button for notification updates. See you on the next video!